Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to AVNR. This is the StockSwish show play of the day. Worked out really nice and had a move in the morning, rallied up, and then I did a second play in this as a short in the afternoon, which turned out to be the bigger play. So really happy. Out of this here, uh, let's review this trade. Go back to the beginning period. Actually, this looks like it's going to bake her den, but I'm... I'm completely out of it now. It's just too late. Okay. So uh, the entry in this was right in here, right in here on the beginning period of the day. And then there was a nice add in here under 59. Stop had to be over the high of the day, and it was tight. I had it at 68. Okay. So it was a nice uh, 10 cent stop in here for this play. Um, depending on where you got filled here at 58, 57, or even 59. Stop was 68. Then it rolled on down. And then I actually thought about taking more here. I mean, you could have. I called in the room if you wanted to take more into the break of 50. Um, and then this is where this rolled over. Interestingly enough, I wanted to take a portion of my position off here. Um, but you could have taken the whole thing off here. Some people took half off. Some people took the whole thing off. Uh, whatever you wanted to do in this, you could have done. As it turns out, the entire play could have been held all day. This is Let's just look at this in the five. This is very unusual. Lots of times something will drop in the morning, okay, and be done. Sometimes something will drop in the morning, not go to the full-on number, rally back and actually be done and never go to the full-on number. Sometimes things drop in the morning, don't go to the full on number, rally back and reset up, and then you can add back to the trade, take more, just lower the stop. In this case here, as it turns out, the lowered stop in this held, because then I actually lowered the stop from the original 68 above here, above this area here. This actually held even through the pop up in the rally. Hard to believe, but why did it? The stock move wasn't over. And this actually was a little bit jerky. You, I mean, you can see here in the five minute, these tails and things was a little jerky to trade. But I was aware of that. The bounce happened here, ran up here into the 1040, 1045 reversal time. And then it was a short on the 15 minute. And I do occasionally, not, not every day, but every once in a blue moon, I will take a 15 minute sell set up. So the 15 minute sell set up here was at 42. Stop at this point still had to be here at tight. I had it tight at 52. This is lower than the original stop, but it had to be up here. It would have been too tight to put it here. Then there was another place you could have taken more here actually under 40. 40 was a number it had to break to go and you could have taken more under 40. And then it rolled on over and then the exit was right in here. I mean, this, this looks like it's actually gonna keep going here, but I'm out of it. Nice flush down into the lunch period here. Once this big red bar hit here, I had my hand on the button, I took it out. I was giving it one millisecond to see if it would continue, but when this bar didn't open right under the low, boop, I took it off. So I'm out of this. This this is a good size bar here. This is a good size bar here, and this is a for this price point, and it broke 30, okay, which is where I was really looking for it to break. But to be honest with you, this looks like it's going to continue again here. I mean, there's no reason to keep trading anymore now today. It's been a really nice day. But ABNR worked out very nicely today. Another snail, <laughs> another snail, but it worked. And you can get pretty good size in these types of things. I mean, you can get good size in these snaily things, whether you have a large account or a small account or a medium account. And you just watch it. And, and you watch what it does. And and it has the moves and you take the trade. And the market helped everything today. Market helped everything today go nicely. Really, really nice day to short. The play today was short. I felt the market was heavy yesterday. I was I preempted it by a day. I thought the market was gonna drop and fall into itself here yesterday, and then that it did it today. I felt the heaviness in the market yesterday, but it didn't break. Today it did. Let's just see where the market is here now. So everything worked that was, you know, to the short side that was a quality gap in here today. And the market helped it. Geez, the market is going to close red here. Yep, market's going to close bearish today. So this is AVNR. Looks like it has one more drop down. This could actually get to 310 or $3 here before the end of the day, but I'm all out. 
nice, nice move on an initial morning play and then a 15 minute call as well. Uh, AVNR is a stock swish show play of the day. I hope everyone had a fantastic trading day. I had a really, really nice day here with a couple of plays and I uh, hope everyone did as well. If you need any more information or if you're interested in the upcoming Golden Gap class, it's this weekend. Gosh, it's in a couple of days, December 14th and 15th. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like to sign up. This is the last gap class of the year. If you want to learn how to trade my system, if you want to learn how to trade gaps so you can be successful trading them in 2014, then this is the last class before uh, the end of the year. So email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.